the site of today's NJCAA matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the Massasoit Community College Buccaneers. So these two teams get ready to start off this battle between these Route 24 rivals. Bristol in the green with the white trimming and Massasoit in the navy blue with the white numbering and we are underway. Bristol Community College is coached by first year head coach Brian Fernandes. And we are underway. I am David Cardoza here on the call. And I want to welcome back everybody for another season of Bayhawks basketball. We're underway. Nine on the shot clock. Bristol in zone. Driving in addition. Three pointer from the top of the key. Way off. Rebounded by Massasoya. Oh, looks like a travel. Going in. Oh, nice block. Lopes pulls it back out. Stanley Freeman. Three point shot. It's good. Chad and Gia for three. And Bristol has the early lead. Massasoya having a little trouble with that zone. Shot clock winding down. And they're going to call travel. Actually, they're going to call an offensive foul away from the ball. Actually, they're going to call Giannis Yatenji. They're going to call him with pushing off, driving to the hole. Bristol with the basketball. They try to get it inside, losing it. Coming away with it is Yantenji. Going into the lane, nice little move there, and he'll go to the line for two. I want to welcome all, in all our friends at FR Media. Yantenji. Softly buries the first one. All right. Chilly December night on the outside. Snowy December day, but here on the inside, a little toasty. And he gets a soft roll there, three to two. That's why I like to call this place the pressure cooker. All right, Massasoya sets up in zone. And their defense, Freeman, thought about three. Gets it to the lane, nice pass to a cutting number 11, Tejan Hendry. Bristol with an early lead, 5-2. Again, battle of these Route 24 rivals. They've had some highly heated contests in the past. Rebound by number zero, Javaris Hill. And he'll go to the line for two. Javaris Hill, sophomore guard. And he is the leading scorer for this Buccaneer squad. Average of 22.3 a game. First free throw. No good. Buccaneers led by their two leading scorers, Javaris Hill and Marshall Martin, both sophomores. Marshall Martin, sophomore forward. As Hill misses there, Marshall Martin has 15, is averaging nearly 60 points a game with 15.7. So those are the two guys you want to look for, for for the Bucks. Stanley Freeman returning sophomore, deep from three, nails it. Freeman for the right wing gives Bristol an 8-2 lead. Buccaneers having trouble with that zone early on. Going to move the basketball. That's a deep three. And he sinks it. Number 24. Mitchell Mirazier with the three. Eight to five. A.B. with the miss. Hauling the rebound down is, is, is Mr. Marshall Martin himself. Three-pointer. It's no good. Oh, that looks like it's going to be off Hendry. 
And it's going to stay Bucks basketball. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Again, Bristol's defense doing doing a good job. The kick out for three, no good. Nice, nice rebound and put back by Javaris Hill. Good job to get position. Can't let them get second chance points. Oh, nice pass there. Nice pass there by Lopes to Tejon Hendry. Good looking play there, 10-7. In favor of Bristol early on. We're just getting underway. Ooh, they get it inside, nice entry pass. Reverse layup is no good. And Martin is there to put the is there to clean up the mess. And now the Bucks are within one. Freeman swings it. Freeman from the top. No good. All right, so I think we have a foul in the basket. On number 24, that's going to be on Javaris Hill with a push. Both teams have two team fouls. Freeman kicks it back out to Wingia. AB gets it inside to Lopes. Turn around, gets a little friendly roll. Joe Lopes, freshman, had a nice pass on the earlier possession. And this time gets in the lane for a nice little turnaround. And Bristol, with a 12-9 lead, they've yet to change the scoreboard, though. Driving to the basket, and I believe there's going to be a foul on, let's see who they call it on. I think it's going to be before the shot. They're going to call it on Angier, I believe. All right, they get it inside of Javaris Hill for two, 12 to 11. Freeman swings it, gets it back, nice. I like the way Bristol's moving the ball on this zone. Lopes goes up and gets, oh, almost got the friendly bounce, and Hendry loses it out of bounds. So I just want to correct myself. Mass Bay. <laughs> I was wondering where Massasoit changed the navy blue. Hey, today was a snow day. What do you want? And they're going to call steps. And it'll be Bristol basketball. Freeman up to A.B. Oh, nice pass. Oh, and a block there by Hill. Nice entry pass there. Hendry got his, got his shot blocked. And Hendry loses it out of bounds, but it's going to be off Bristol. Bristol's had a top-heavy schedule of away games early in this season. It's only the third home game. Bristol with the double in the corner. They kick it back out. Martin pulls up for the jumper so from 17. Can't get it. Rebound by Te by Yentenji. Puts it up and in. 13 to 12 now. Lopes with the short jumper. Can't get it to fall. Lopes getting some good looks early. They got him flashing high. It's been effective against Mass Bay zone. 
Mass Bay with a one-point lead. Three-pointer by Yantenji, no good. Freeman goes up for the rebound, then he gets bumped by Hill, and that's going to be his second foul. I believe they're going to call that in Javaris Hill. He's their, he's their top player. Actually, they're going to call that a number 20. Gerson St. Fort. Ooh, knocked away. Stolen by Martin. Goes up and can't finish. Rebounded by A.B. A.B. Madrano. They get it inside. Hendry tried to dish it to Lopes. It gets it knocked away. Yantenji going all the way coast to coast and can't finish. And Mass Bay having a tough time finishing on some bunnies. Mass Bay has missed some easy layups. They could have they could have this lead extended. But they're only up one. 12.59 to play. Four team fouls for the guests, Mass Bay, Buccaneers. Fifteen on the shot clock. They'll get inside to Hendry. Draws the double team, kicks it back up to Freeman. Going to have to put it up soon. Freeman gets the pass stolen, and Mass Bay comes up with it. Poor decision there by by Freeman, bouncing that you know passing that into a crowd in the paint. Mass Mass Bay all over it. Martin. Pulls it. He drains it. Eminem, Marshall Martin extends Mass Bay's lead to four. Mass Bay just swarming to the ball. And Freeman gets it to Lopes with those out of bounds. And Bristol turned the ball over a lot here. We'll take a little break. 12.03 left to play here in the first half. 16 to 12. The Bucks lead. We'll be right back. All right, we're back underway. 16 to 12. Defense. 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 Nice du double team there by Bristol at half court. Oh, Hill, a nice pass there by number 12. Behind the back there. Stanley Solomon with a beautiful round the back pass. And that ball knocked away. Yantenji gonna go up and lays it in. And the Bayhawk, I mean the the Buccaneers up 20 to 12. <laughs> AB Madrano for the wing. Short goes out of bounds. Bristol has some shooters with AB Madrano and Chad Angia, Stanley Freeman. But Mass Bay is doing a good job guarding the three-point line. They're doing a good job defending the three-pointer. Bristol. And there's a turnover by the Bucks. But Bristol having a having a tough time getting some clear looks here. Eleven fifteen to go. We've got some substitutions. Lopes kicks it back out. Come on, you get a set of screen. Madrano from deep, way off. Rebounded by number 13. Krishan Naemi. He's a freshman. He's averaging seven and a half points per game. Bristol has three players averaging in double figures. Stanley Freeman, the, the, soft, the sophomore, averaging 15 and a half a game. The leading scorer is A.B. Madrano. I'm sorry, Chad and Gia with 19 and a half. And A.B. Madrano with 17 and a half. So, like I said, those are the three shooters too. 
first free throw was missed. Those are three guys that can hit from the perimeter. And also, Tejon Hendry, their postman, averaging nearly nine points a game. He was averaging 8.7. And Niami misses both free throws. Bristol, they're looking to double team. Every chance they can get, knocked away. Knocked away and laying it up in it, laying it up and lo oh, losing it. Brandon Narciss had the steal, then he missed the layup. I think he, I thought he kind of slowed down a little bit. He allowed the Buccaneers defender to interfere. Three point shot by Martin is good. He's good from out there, 24 to 13. Actually, they're going to say it's not a three-pointer. His foot was on the line, 23 to 13. Nice lob in inside to Niami. And they're going to foul him. Let's see if it's on the shot. Almost halfway through this first half. Chad and Gia will come in for Brendan Narciss. Let's see if these guys can get rolling here. Chad and Gia had a three-pointer early on in the first half. Oh, poor pass there. Miami kicks it back out. And Gia deep for three, and he nails it. And just as I say it, and Gia finds it. And finds the bottom of the net. 23 to 16. Bristol trying to climb back into this one. And Bristol matching up man-to-man -man now. Going into the lane was number 15, Stephen Campbell. Lost it. Oh! Going to the hole is Medrano, and he misses a layup. Both teams missing some easy layups early on. Six team fouls on the Bucks. Only three for your Bayhawks. Again, if you're just joining this one in action, Mass Bay Buccaneers are visiting your Bristol Bayhawks in this NJCAA matchup. And knocked away. Stanley Freeman with his fast hands going to the rack. And he misses a layup. This is a night of layups miss. Martin, look at. And I believe he's going to get fouled. What should they call the air? Looks like they might have called steps. They call a travel? Either way, the Bucks turn it over. I thought maybe he got a tripped or got, got fouled there, but. Nice find by Freeman to Angia. Can't find the bottom. Nice cross court pass there by Freeman, but Angia couldn't connect. They get it inside, and, and they're going to call a foul there, a blocking foul on the drive to the basket. They're going to call a foul on Medrano. And number 12, Stanley Solomon. No, I knew it wasn't on the shot. Looked like they were lined up for free throws there. Javaris Hill gets it inside to his teammate. Solomon puts it up off the glass and in. Nine point lead. Freeman, he'll think about it. He'll pull it from out there. Again, Mass Bay all over that zone. Freeman kicks it back out. Stepping back up as Angia nails it. And it is a three. Three threes so far in the first half for Angia. And he's starting to get going now. Martin gets it inside to Hill. Pounds his way in. Can't get it to go. Matrano up to Niami, lays it in. And Bristol with some quick buckets here, climbs back to within four. Under eight minutes to play in the first half. Here's Campbell. Goes all the way, too easy. Got Campbell found his way to the basket. 27 to 21. Defense! 
15 on the shot clock. Angia gets it inside. Naomi pulls it back out. Freeman, the three-pointer, it's good! And Bristol's starting to hit from the outside. That's the strength of their game. They're a three-point shooting team. Sometimes it's all or nothing with them, and right now they got it, they got it rolling. 27 to 24 within three. Campbell thinks about it, puts it up. No good. Rebound by A.B. Madrano. Madrano looking to push. Freeman the trailer. Finds Angia. Angia off the top of the backboard. Mass Bay comes away with it. Kyle Thistle Pierce with the ball. Bristol switched defenses. They're now playing man to man. They've been more effective playing man to man. Thistle Pierce all the way to the lane and scores it. Kyle Thistle Pierce. Good little drive there. Lopes. Oh, gets that knocked away and recovered by Pierce. They got Campbell up to Hill. Hill puts it up. Awkward shot, but he gets it to go. 31 to 24. And Mass Bay back up to a seven point lead. Lopes loses it. Freeman gets it into Miami. Back up to Madrano. And Gia on the drive. Got contact, one of the foul, but the referee doesn't blow the whistle. Bristol just struggling, struggling sometimes in, the, in their half court. They get inside. Hill goes face up. Kicks it back out to Martin. Way off the mark, air ball. Freeman in the lane, the finger roll is no good. Naomi went in there for the rebound and loses it. Bristol again, just struggling. If it's not a three pointer, they're pretty much struggling. They're trying to get the ball to Joe Lopes. Joe Lopes, they have, they have him flashing up to the, to the free throw line. And he made some early, he made some good early on decisions with the basketball from up there early on, but lately, He's turning around and just making some poor decisions, either getting it stolen away or throwing a bad pass or taking a bad shot. But it seems like Mass Bay is defending that much better. And it's 31 to 24 with 456 to play. Not the sharpest first half. Both teams have missed some easy shots, some easy layups, turned the ball over. Seven point lead for Mass Bay. Here's Antenji. Fifteen on the shot clock. Bristol in man. Martin. Playing a two man game with Hill. Martin on the drive, puts it up off the glass. No good. Nice rebound there by Hill on the inside. The tenacity draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. All right, and the foul is going to be on number 11 for Bristol, Tejon Hendry. I believe it was on the shot, so Hill is at the line for two, trying to extend this lead. Both teams have 16 fouls. And Hill misses the first free throw. Thirty-one twenty-four. Hill, the sophomore, hits the second free throw. 32 to 24.
15 on the shot clock. And Gia probably should have shot it the first time. Rebound by Henry off the miss. In the corner, that jumper is no good. And it's going to stay Bristol basketball. With 18 on the shot clock. Number 12. Prowo Pufong is in the game. And that three-pointer by Freeman. Bangs it home, 32 to 27. Twelve on the shot clock. Campbell for three, short. Rebounded by Bristol. That was Hendry. And Gia loses control of it. But he's going to pick up the foul. He'll go to the line. And this should be a one-on-one -on -one situation. As Bristol is now in the bonus. Both teams are, are close to the bonus. Bristol's in the bonus. One more team foul by Bristol. And the Bucks will be in the bonus too. And then Gia. And Gia, funky color sneakers and all. The green with the pink. <laughs> should, have went, should have went all pink on that one. I don't know about the, whatever color green that is. <laughs> Looks like a mint. Second free throw was good. 32 to 29, Bristol within three. Nice the double team there by Bristol. Oh, and they're going to call travel. Bristol could cause fits when they're, when they're double teaming. Here's Freeman. And it's going to be a kick ball on the Bucks on Nantenji. Again, we are in the pressure cooker, home of the Lafrance La France Gymnasium, home of the Bishop Connolly Cougars, and the home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Freeman, short jumper for the free throw line, no good. Hendry couldn't pull the rebound in, but he gets pushed in the back, and he'll go to the line. This is going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. 2.50 to play. Eight team fouls on the Bucks. Hendry can't connect on the first free throw. Oh, Campbell, nice pass inside. No look pass. And Martin connects for two. Nice pass there by Stephen Campbell. Bristol up five. Mass Bay is still in that in that three that two three zone and Gia from the wing misses. I think that ball hit the uh, thought that ball hit the top of the backboard or hit the hit the shot clock. And they're going to call a push in the back. So Hendry will go to the line. And Bristol doing a horrendous job at the free throw line. Both teams are shooting porous from the free throw line. Bristol back in zone now. 12 on the shot clock, going inside. And they're going to call a foul number 12. Solomon. Dipping that shoulder, they're going to call an offensive foul. And we have a substitution, Stephen Campbell. Stephen Campbell back in the game, number 15. For Mass Bay.
Freeman, deep from three, rolls out. Rebounded by Campbell. Ooh, oh, almost a travel there. Campbell from the corner, can't connect. Ends up in the hands of Njia. Chad Njia for three, sinks it. Chad Njia knocks it home. And it's 34 to 32 with a minute 25 left to go here in the first half. Bristol Community College has had some new hires here in men's basketball. Coach Brian Fernandez in his first season taking over for a long-time successful coach with 176 wins, Coach Rob Dale Liu, who took his team to three MCCAC championship titles and a couple other trips to the uh, Region 21 finals. <laughs> Long tenured, the only coach in the new inception of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks program. Coach Rob Delu, tremendous job with this Bayhawks program and Coach Brian Fernandez looking to continue the winning ways for Bristol. Also Coach Jay Hanley for the women's basketball head coach for the women's basketball team. He's done a great job so far on the young season with the Lady Bayhawks. Ooh, on the floor. And, and we'll see what they call here. And they're gonna call timeout. Looks like Bucks coach calls a timeout here with a minute and 11 seconds to go. And how about Coach the Tasman, Jason Tasanari, women's soccer head coach this year, leading his team to a regional final in which they lost that game in overtime in penalty shots down at Holyoke Community College in the Region 21 final. A win there by the Bayhawks would have sent them to the Nationals. But Coach Tasanari definitely did a great job with this woman's team, leading them to a number two seed in Region 21. Nice pass inside. And the putback is by, is by Martin, 36 to 32. Freeman, and that's, again, that zone is given uh, given Bristol fits. And Bristol this year, don't really have the true point guard that they have in years past. They don't have that guy who is a primary ball handler and creator as that ball sails out of bounds. I'm not sure where that was going. As Giannis Yenatenji throws that one out of bounds, gives it right back to Bristol. Stanley Freeman has kind of been that, that go-to, that point guard. Mostly out of necessity. They move that ball around the perimeter and stolen away by Yanatenji. Yanatenji, oh, nice little spin move. Puts it up. Okay, get it to go. The putback is by number 10, K.O. Diaz. Good job by Diaz to follow the play. Gets the putback. Puts his team up by six. Shot clock is off. Nanjia for three, nails it. His fifth three-pointer. 38 to 35. Knocked away, Freeman puts it up at the buzzer. No good. But he had a shot there. And at the half, 38 to 35. Bayhawks with a three-point lead. We'll take a break here. It is halftime at the pressure cooker here at Bishop Conley High School, LaFrance Gymnasium. All right, stay tuned for second half action. We'll be right back. All right, and welcome back to second half action. Right from the elbow, the jumper is no good by Lopes. 
Okay, so just to give you a halftime report and the leading scorers at the half is that ball. All right, almost taken away there by Bristol. Leading score for both teams is Chad and Gia. Five three-pointers in the first half. He really turns it up there towards the end. Both teams start off in zone. And both teams giving the other team fits with their zone. Bristol did change man to man and started doubling. Causing some turnovers, but both teams also missing a lot of layups. A lot of, a lot of miscues in the first half. We'll see what happens here in the second half. This, as this one's underway, 38 to 35 with the host Buccaneers. With the lead, Chad and Gia for three. This time comes up short. Leading score for Mass Bay is Marshall Martin. And they also had three guys with six. Javaris Hill, Giannis Nanchenji, and Mitchell Merzier. All with six. Ten on the shot clock. That's your halftime report. All right. The little leaner by Martin is no good. Freeman, little hesitation. Pop, stops and pops, no good. Ripped away by Javaris Hill. Nantenji cuts right through the defense and lays it up and in. Wow. He really sliced through there like a Swiss Army knife. He just... Butchered right through there. 40 to 35. Lopes in the corner. The jumper is no good. Rebounded by Martin. Been a game of runs, too. Both teams have gone on their respective runs. Martin, um, excuse me, Hill, three-pointer by Yanatenji, comes up short, rebounded by Tejon Hendry. Good defensive stand there by Bristol Madrano. And they're going to call a jump ball here, and it's going to be a possession arrow in favor of the Bucks. Again, want to welcome you all in, watching here on FR Media, channel 95, ring your dial of Comcast. Welcome you into another fine season of Bristol Bayhawks basketball. Lay in there by King Solomon. Stanley Solomon for two. He's got four, 42 to 35. Again, snowy Tuesday in December. Lopes from the corner. Can't get it to fall. He's just been cold from the outside. Up ahead, going up and laying it in. And calling a timeout as Coach Fernandes. As Javaris Hill scores it, giving the Bucks a nine point lead. 16 37 left here to play. Timeout on the floor. Bucks have the lead. We'll be right back right after this. All right, welcome back here after that timeout. Coach Brian Fernandez sent a rally his troops as uh, they have not scored a point yet here in this first in the second half. Bayhawks, I mean the Buccaneers on a little 6-0 run, holding the Bayhawks scoreless here in the first almost four minutes of play. Besides Chad and Gia. Scoring from the outside, Bristol has had his offensive woes. They've struggled from the outside. And Mass Bay with a double team, they're gonna cause a turnover. Madrano, they're gonna call him for steps. And A.B. Madrano, he's actually yet to score here. He's actually second leading scorer on the team. They've held him to zero points. Knocked away by Hendry. 
and uh, and Gia pulls it back. Freeman, last second pass inside to Tajon Hendry, can't get it to fall. Bayhawks still school is here in the second half. And Tenji gets double teamed here. Bristol will do that, that half court double team. And Tenji gets it to the lane. Can't find the bottom of the barrel, but he'll go to the line for two. He's been doing a good drive, driving on this zone. He's done a good job of uh, getting into the teeth of the defense and getting to the free throw line. Giannis Nintenji averaging 7.2 points per game. He's a freshman guard. So Bristol, since we have joined you last, Bristol won its last home game over Holyoke Community College. And Gia gets double teamed on the baseline and they knocked it off his leg and Mass Bay will come up with the basketball. So Bristol did win its last home game against Holyoke, but they have lost since then. They are three and three. They are at 500 here on the young season. Tuesday, December 3rd, snowy day. Snowy day in southern Massachusetts. And Bristol will turn the ball over. Oh, Mass Bay will turn the ball over to Bristol, I'm sorry. 44 to 35. Bristol trying to find its rhythm on offense. Again, they have yet to score. In the second half, Freeman, nice bounce pass inside. Hendry can't connect, another easy layup, missed. And Tenji, looking for help. Martin, nice turn in the lane. Oh, ripped away by Hendry. Freeman going the length of the court, puts it up off the glass, oh! Hendry goes up with a putback slam and he misses. Going back the other way. Oh, nice little move there. And we'll see what they. And they're calling a shot clock violation. Was that on the previous possession? Because they still gave. They still gave those points to Mass Bay. It's 46 to 35. Madrano, another errant pass. Mass Bay comes up, comes up with it. Bristol just playing some sloppy basketball right now. They can't generate any kind of offense whatsoever. Double team in the corner. And losing it was Solomon. And then Gia. And they're going to call a push. They're going to call a push on Hill. That's going to be his third. A.B. Madrano will inbound for the Bayhawks. Again, Mass Bay in zone. Oh, nice little hesitation there, and Freeman puts it up off the window and in. Nice little hesitation move, and fade away, and Bristol finally on the board, and it's stolen away by Freeman. Bristol has numbers, four on one. To Namie, he scores for two. And Bristol scoreless for six and a half minutes there. Nice give and go. Hill scores from the pass from Martin. Good job there. Nice give and go. 48 to 39. And Gia, the leaner, puts it up off the glass. And then Gia has 19. 
Bristol within seven. So Bristol held scoreless for the first six and a half minutes here. They've, they've scored six points here in less than, less than a minute. Drive to the basket, no good. Tipped up, no good. Got a ton of box out. You can hear Coach Fernandez saying box out. And Solomon with the offensive rebound and the putback for two. Freeman from the top drains it. Stanley Freeman needs to get going. Maybe that three-pointer will do it, 50 to 44. And they're gonna call travel. Lopes kicks it back out. Freeman thought about it. Kicks it over to Majana for three. No good. Good job of boxing out by the Bucks. All right, so Coach Fernandez orders his team to get into man. Man to man defense now by the Bucks, by the Bristol Bayhawks here. Driving to the hole is Hill strong. And he'll draw the foul. Javara Hill is just a beast. He's solid. He's built like a brick you-know-what house. 50 to 44. Both teams with two team fouls. 11.40 to play here in the second half from LaFrance Gymnasium. First free throw is good by Hill. Again, Hill is the leading scorer for Mass Bay. One of the leading scorers in the country. 22.3 a game, second free throw is no good. Freeman up to Angia. Angia goes up and gets it blocked by Hill. Hill knocks it out and Bristol ends up with the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. Mass Bay in man now. Freeman drives, loses it, and, and they're going to call a foul on the floor. All right, they're going to call a foul on number 12 there. Stanley Sullivan on three-pointer, and it drains it home as Angia. Six three-pointers on the night for that man. And just like that, Bristol within four. Match it up man to man. I think they've definitely done a good job, a better job playing man to man defense than they have in zone. Backing his man in, turning, losing it out of bounds, and they'll say it's Bristol basketball. I, th I think for Mass Bay, Hill, they like to feed Hill on the block. He definitely has size in his favor. And Gia goes up and can't connect with the two, but he'll go to the line for two. Mass Bay definitely presents some, uh, some challenges, some matchup nightmares with Hill and Martin, two guys with some size and some length. And first free throw by Angia is good. Angia has 23 on the night. Angia trying to pull his team within two. He does, with a lot of time to play. Bristol held scoreless, 
for the first six and a half minutes of this half as that ball sails out of bounds. Mercier throws that one out of bounds. And now Bristol, just like that, is within two with a chance to tie it or go ahead on this possession. Freeman swings it in the corner for three, and Gia nails it! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And Bristol has the lead, 52 to 51. Holy cow. Knocked, stripped away by Medrano. Freeman pushing it up. Ahead to Naomi. Can't get it to fall, but it's going to stay Bristol basketball as it's tipped away by the Bucks. All right, Bristol. After almost seven minutes of not scoring, it's up 52 to 51. As we're almost halfway through this second half, Bristol has the lead by one. How about that? And Chad Ngia, he's been a big part of it. He has 26, he has seven three-pointers. Almost single-handedly helping this Bayhawks team climb back into it. But again, Bristol had not scored one point with almost 13, with almost seven minutes passed. And they've scored 17 points within the last three minutes. So it was 46 to 35, with about 13 and a half to go. And Bristol in the last, in the last three and a half minutes, they've gone on a 17 to five run. No, I'm not a math major, I just play one on TV. As Mass Bay comes away with the steal, under 10 minutes to go. Campbell, try to get inside. Good job by Naomi to get position on Martin. Martin driving on Naomi, puts it up, gets the flow to the roll home. Good drive there. Mass Bay needs more of that. Martin, Martin could do that all day. Madrano fakes, and he throws it out of bounds. I'm not sure why he did that. Looked like he might have had a step there. Looked like he might have had a step there on Mercier, but decided to step back out and throw that, throws that one out of bounds, did Madrano. Bucks have the lead, slim lead, be it, at one. Bristol looking for their fourth win of the season. And they try to get it inside to Yantenji. Knocked away by Freeman. Good denial there. Again. 18 on the shot clock. Bucks looking to inbound. Yantenji, the freshman guard, will inbound. Gets it inside. Solomon lost it. Yantenji comes back and will set up the offense. Around the perimeter. Yantenji fade away from the corner. And they're going to call a foul, I believe. The foul is going to be on number 13. That's going to be his first. Number 13. Krishan Naomi. And Yantenji with another missed free throw. Both teams struggling from the line. Second free throw was good. Giving the Bucks a two point lead. 8.51 to go. Both teams aren't in foul trouble yet. Freeman kicks it back out to Madrano. And Gia for three. No good. Rebounded by Martin. Yantenji will slow it down. Defense. 
Bristol has switched over, back over to zone. The floater, it's good by Solomon. And now that, now that Bristol's gone back to zone, it seems like the Bucks are handling that a little bit better, as they have all night. Freeman, the drive and the dish, out of bounds. And Coach Brian Fernandes going to call a timeout here. We're going to take a short break. 8.04 to play here from LaFrance Gymnasium. The Bucks have the lead over the Bayhawks, 56-52. We'll be right back here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. If you missed the new slogan, if you missed the new slogan, Bayhawk, hashtag Bayhawk Grit. Bristol Athletics is on the climb. And there is points by Martin. 58 to 52. And the Bucks have extended their lead to six. After falling down by one. Freeman, little hesitation. Fadeaway jumper. He loves that move. Off the glass and in. Freeman trying to will his team. Down by four. 7-19 to play. Plenty of time. And Bristol back match it up man to man. They get inside. Mercier gets it knocked away. Good defense on the interior. Knocked away. Bristol has the basketball. Madrano in transition in the corner. And Gia for three. Nails it. Chad and Gia pulls it within one. 58 to 57. The Chad man. Look at that set. Eight three pointers. He's been magnificent in this game. The funny thing is, he actually got up to a slow start. Bristol within one. Grit. Five on the shot clock. Nientenji misses. Rebounded by Lopes. Oh, he gets it taken away by Nientenji, who extends the lead to three. And Lopes, I mean, he's got more than a handful of turnovers in this game. Pedrano, and he travels. Madrano with the jump step. You can only jump so much. Coming up on six minutes to play. Second half action, 60 to 57. The Bucks with the lead. They get inside, double teamed by Lopes and Freeman, but it doesn't matter. Mercier, Mitchell Mercier goes up strong for two. Five point lead. Again, both teams really aren't in, really aren't in foul trouble. They dump it in inside to Niami. Gets it blocked, but it's gonna, they're gonna call a foul on Campbell. But a good defensive play by Campbell Well, they like that. They like that little lob. They get inside to Naomi. He's just a poor free throw shooter. Here's a guy who's a freshman still learning the game. Has, tremen has tremendous upside. He is averaging seven and a half points a game, Krishan. Krishan shooting 58.1% from the field this year, but 56.3 from the free throw line. As he misses both free throws there, 62 to 57. It's starting to get to, get close to nitty gritty time, if it isn't already. Bristol in man. Five on the shot clock, four. Martin puts it up for three, can't connect. Rebound by Angia. Big stop there by the Bayhawks. They needed it. Angia cuts it to the defense. Puts it up. Can't connect on the drive. Rebounded by Giannis Nintenji. Oh, a little stutter step move. Gets it to the lane. No good. 
And then, let's see who they call a foul on. It's going to be on the Bucks. It's going to be on Nantenji. It is going to be. That's his fourth. The fifth team foul on the Bucks. Bristol has four team fouls, so both teams not near the penalty yet. Freeman for three, short. Freeman with his own rebound. Kicks it back over. Good ball movement there. Madrano with the floater, sinks it home. Good patience there by Bristol, and Madrano, those are his first points of the game. 62 to 59. Bristol within three. Hill pounds his way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Naomi with the rebound. Freeman up to Angia, puts it up and in. Angia over 30 points for the for the for the evening. Pulls his team within one. Snowy Tuesday, chilly outside, but things are heating up here in the pressure cooker. Hill catches it, kicks it back up to Solomon. Solomon on the drive, loses control of it, and it will stay Bucks basketball. They don't call I don't call it the pressure cooker for nothing. It starts to get a little hot and dicey. This building has been known for for games like this. That ball on the inbound, knocked away, and they're gonna say it's off the box. Did that go off Solomon? Number 12? It's gonna be Bristol basketball. Three minutes and 30 seconds to play, a chance to take the lead here for Bristol. Madrano, oh, gets that knocked away. Just a careless pass into the hands of Yenetenji. And Teji pulls it out, looking to set up the offense. And Teji being guarded by Madrano. Hill looking to come and set a pick up top. Three minutes to go. Again, the Bucks have just been, and they're going to call. A, they're going to call a foul. They're going to call an offensive foul on the Bucks on a push off. And Gia. Freeman. Short jumper. It's good. Bristol has the lead. Sixty-three to sixty-two, two and a half to play. And now Pierce is the point guard. Knocked away by Angia. Has a two-on-one. Angia goes up and lays it home. Bristol up by three. Timeout on the floor. 65-62. Bayhawks grit. Greatness. Resourceful. Integrity. Teamwork. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, if you just turned the dial here to FR Media, I'm David Cardoza on the call, 65-62. Another season of Bayhawks basketball underway here on FR Media. Glad to have you throughout the season. The Bayhawks have the lead, 65-62. to Bayhawks were down by nine near the 13-minute mark and had not scored, had not scored for nearly seven minutes, yet they have the lead with under two minutes to play. 65-62, Chad Angia has been a monster. Three-point shot by, by Mercier, can't get it to fall. And what it was, Giannis Anatenji, the floor general, the point guard, the freshman point guard has fouled out And replacing him is, is Tyler Pierce. Three-pointer by Madrano. Oh, couldn't get it to fall. This place would have came unglued. Madrano was struggled most of the night. 
from the outside. Going to the basket strong. And if they are going to pull this one out, the Buccaneers need to rely on their offensive sophomore force right there, number zero. But he ain't no zero. Javaris Hill, who hasn't really been his offensive forceful self. He's well underneath his season average of 22.3 a game. I mean, he's barely in double figures. 65-63. He pulls him in, pulls him within two there. Oh, nearly getting the rebound was Mercier, knocked away by Freeman. Second free throw, no good. This one, this game, pretty much still in the balance. But the Bayhawks have the lead and the basketball. If the Buccaneers foul, Bristol will be in the bonus. Freeman, boy, he's got a good matchup there. Freeman kicks it back out. Medrano for three, gets it to go! A, B, Medrano for three. 68 to 63, five point lead. And the Bucks will call a timeout. 68 to 63. Bayhawks showing grit, looking to get to four and three. We're gonna take a break right here. Here on FR Media, Bayhawks have a five-point lead with 44.6 left. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the pressure cooker. Bristol, they really have put the pressure cooker defense on Mass Bay. They've done a good job with that man-to-man. -man. And Coach Brian Fernandez has done a great job of down the back from zone to man-to-man, -man, but the man-to-man -man defense has really worked on Mass Bay. They have, they have struggled to get good shots off and Bristol has forced some forced turnovers, as they do right there. Niami in the open court, going to the basket, and he'll get fouled by Martin, and that was a big steal there, and that may seal it. But, but we know Krishan, we know he struggled from the free throw line this year. Again, shooting 56.3% from the free throw line. But boy, he's been instrumental in this game today. On the interior. First free throw is good. So when you need to have it, that's a big shot right there. So now a two possession game, he can make it a three possession game and make it nearly impossible for Mass Bay to uh, get back in this one. And Naomi, Krishan, or Krishan Naomi with two big free throws when you need to have it in the clutch. Great job by him. Three-pointer. That's coming off. Rebounded by A.B. And Bristol with a heck of an effort to close this one out after a poor start, especially in the second half. And they are just going to wind this one down, and Bristol will advance to being four and three on the young season. Big win, and they're still undefeated at home as Angia politely and gentlemanly hands the ball to the ref, and that is going to be it, 70 to 63. And Bristol is now four and three on the young season, and the Bayhawks continue their winning ways at home. So I'm David Cardoza as we wrap it up here from LaFrance Gymnasium. Bayhawks showing their grit here at LaFrance Gymnasium. The Bayhawks are winners, 70 to 63. Your Bayhawks play player of the game, unquestionably, Chad Angia, Nine three-pointers today. He was a beast.